Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I do a video and today I'm going to share with you on the Back to Basic Skincare Regimen. Do you feel your skincare is not absorbing as well as usual? Having mild redness, bumps and zits at some places? And yeah, watch on as I share with you how you can reset your skin back to supplements. To start off, I'm swapping my usual cleanser with the Botanical Effects F2 cleanser for normal and sensitive skin with my favourite skin invigorating brush. Remember, 15 seconds on the forehead, chin, cheeks and the nose area and after that I will cleanse off. And remember my small little tip that is to separate your face and your bath towel. Recently, I'm experiencing a lot of hickiness with small little bumps and zits on my cheeks and to my chin area due to me eating too much of uh, lychee. <laughs> and now I'm going to use the F2 mask. You can see from here is before that I will use the uh, softener to soften my face. Remember, this is uh, rich in uh, hyaluronic acid, and I usually put in a small bottle to spray all over my face, and then you just have to pat on to let the skin absorb. The softener actually helps in terms of drawing moisture to your skin before you prep your face for masking. Next, time for masking. Now if you have a foundation brush, get ready one uh, to apply together with the Botanical Effects F2 Mask. Now the Botanical Effects skincare range is uh, with two antioxidants, mainly the milk crystals as well as the Luohan Guo. Now for F2 masking, it's uh, further infused with frangipani flower extract and water lily extract which help to soothe and calm skin. And here you can see that when I use the foundation brush, you can actually apply a very even coat all over the face. I do a lot of masking and for the past two weeks I've swapped back to this uh, botanical range um, due to um, my overindulgence of good food during my recent trip to Vietnam. I can see mild redness and zits and bump all over. So this is actually the best time to swap everything back to botanical and uh, to stop on the previous range for the moment. So now we leave the mask on for 20 minutes and before I wash it off, I always like to do a scrub on my lips to keep my lips hydrated. I'm using the Mary Kay Satin Lips uh, with Shoe Butter and this um, doesn't take much time, you just need one minute to scrub off. You just have to rub all over, it's very gentle and it's very sweet also even if you were to consume it. <laughs> Next, get ready your disposable facial cloth, damp the cloth and then wipe off the mask. Now it's best not to use water to wash, especially when your skin is already experiencing some um, sensitivity. It's best to use a facial cloth to wipe it off and only give your face a last rinse to keep all the nutrients that you have actually prepped your skin just now. Continue cleaning and uh, you can see from the facial cloth that uh, it catches on some of the dirt that is uh, extracted out from, the, from my face and uh, as I do not have much of the black hits, most probably I can uh, identify some small little white hits. Now the uh, F2 Botanical Mask is extremely good when um, the skin is um, experiencing sensitivity and that's where you need to, to continue masking with gentle products um, being botanical effects that helps to leave skin nourish and balance here you can take a closer look at the facial cloth now if you are having um, lots of white and black hits that's where you can actually identify that on the facial cloth that catches onto it if our skin has already been cleansed and gently exfoliated that's where we move on to the next step that is to hydrate and lock moisture into our skin have a softener or freshener ready Spray all over the face and pat on to soften and prep the face to drink up the moisture that you're going to put on. Never forget the eyes. I'm going to teach you on how to hydrate your eyes as well with this soothing eye gel. Apply all over and get ready for some massaging techniques even if you're without any tools. Now pat on first. Be generous, put on a thicker layer. Head on about 10-20 times and that's where you start the massaging on. Upward and downward motion. Upward and downward motion. Alright. For at least about 20 to 30 times. Wow. 
After about 20 times, feel the link notes that's just slightly below our eyebrow. Continue doing it by uh, pulling up. Remember there must be glide by the side and skin. This actually helps in terms of softening the cold fits of our side of the eyes. Okay, give the skin a last 10 times of um, up and down motion. And uh, fit the link notes again by doing this. We have two areas where you can actually flush out the toxic, so go by the side and then just massage it downwards to flush away the toxic that reduce puffiness of the eyes. Now we continue with the other side, that is on my right side of the eye. Again, give the under eye a good pat about 10 to 20 times before you start your massaging process again. Now the soothing eye gel is uh, infused with green tea, cucumber and rose hip extract which actually helps to tone, firm and reduce the appearance of puffiness in the eye area. Get ready to massage outwards motion and uh, this step again to help to soften the cold feet. Next, fill the link notes that's slightly under the eyebrow and you flush off by doing the downwards motion. So you can see my eyes is much more lifted and um, next we will add on with the firming eye cream. This actually helps a lot in terms of um, softening the cold fits by the side. All you have to do is to dab 3 to 4 dots by the side of the eye. Time-wise firming eye cream has amino acids and peptides as well as aloe leaf extract which actually is uh, help to calm and soothe the eye area as well as to firm and uh, reduce the appearance of dark circles all around the eye. As I'm adding in on top of the soothing eye gel, I'm just putting by the side of the eyes to help to lift the eye area. Next is where the massaging technique comes along. Now, see how I go about? Put your ring finger by the side, that's where the link notes is, slightly above the eye, under the eyebrow, and that's where you press and massage upwards. Do it for about 10 to 20 times. Remember, there must always be a glide. Our eye area is very delicate, so go gentle and you massage upwards. And it's done. I like how it feels with a hydrated eye area and next is the Time Wise Renewal Gel to add moisture but before that I would like to add on a serum of your choice for this demo I'm using the Time Wise Repair Lifting Serum to add moisture, more moisture as well as uh, lifting and hydrating effects Massage upwards from the forehead to let the serums absorb into the skin for upwards motion by the cheeks. Okay, I'm done. Now for the Time Wise Renewal Gel Masking. That will be the very last step. And I'm um, using hand because I haven't washed the foundation brush that I used for the masking earlier on. So you just have to apply a generous layer all over the skin. This renewal gel has been well loved by many of my users because it uh, instantly hydrates and locks in moisture when you really need it and um, skin usually reported to feel much firmer and healthier the very next day. With this key ingredient of uh, HA, chestnut, acai berry, squawkling, lavender, rosewood and geranium is definitely my go-to in terms of uh, bringing moisture back to the skin. Look how glowing it is. It's best to leave it overnight and it's really that easy. To recall, the first thing I'm using is the Botanical F2 Cleanser. Number two will be the Time Wise Softener. Next will be the F2 Mask. And while I'm waiting for the mask, I'm using the Chill Battle Scrub for the lids. And after we're done, softener or freshener again. And this is optional, you can use a serum of your choice. And lastly, apply a generous layer of the Renewal Gel Mask. Now if you were to take it off uh, in 10 to 20 minutes time, you can always apply oil-free hydrating gel to complete your regimen. Now this is it for me. Goodbye. For the month of August, I'm doing a very special bundle for my users 
um, there's a lot of um, sets available that you can choose from. So if you're not unsure, you can always PM or WhatsApp me what is best for you. So take advantage of the uh, birthday promotion for me. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.